Hello and welcome to Mr. Barton's web whiz video number two. And once again this week, I'm gonna take you on a short little tour of one of my favorite maths websites. And the one we're going for this time is the home of the UK Maths Challenge that takes place in schools across the country. Um, and it's UKMT, the United Kingdom Mathematicals Trust. So let's find the website first in Google UKMT. Give it a little click and there it is, top of the list as it should be. And now, um, on this website, there's lots of stuff you can do. I mean, you can register your school for the uh, for the challenges. You can uh, buy some amazing books that are on there. Um, you can also um, download the previous year paper for some of the individual competitions and the team challenges and some of these Olympiad questions, which I really, really struggle with. So I think we'll avoid those. But what I wanted to draw your attention to is a hidden gem on this website. And you can find it just by clicking here. So if you click on individual competitions and you have a little scroll down to the bottom of the page, what you find is this little section, download questions and solutions in HTML. Give that a click and it opens up this page. Now, I want to just focus on both of these. Firstly, the resources from the teacher meetings. Now, if any of you have been lucky enough to attend a UKMT training event across the country, you'll have come away full of ideas and excellent resources and the dirt cheap to go on. Um, so if you can get on one, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Um, but kindly, the UKMT have put their resources from those meetings on their website. Now, um, one of my favorites is this FizzBuzz one. Now, I don't know if you've played FizzBuzz with your kids, a classic little game. And normally it's just uh, the kids say Fizz for multiples of three and Buzz for multiples of five. And you go around the room, one, two, Fizz, four, Buzz, Fizz, so on. Um, but UKMT have put a little twist on this and I'll just show you. I just downloaded this PowerPoint, so I just give it a little click and here it is. Now, not content with, uh, there's your little warm up, multiples of three, instead of getting a fizz, get a pop, and multiples of eight, get a buzz. And you're already starting to see some of the difficulties here. Triangle numbers, you've got to say ting. But when you actually do the competition itself, what about that? If it's got a Fibonacci number, you say fib, a power of two, you say power, multiple of four is woof, and a multiple of seven is meow. So the first person, instead of saying one, would say fib. The second person, it's a two is a Fibonacci number and a power of two, so it would be Fib Pow. Three would be a Fib. Flipping out four would be a power of two and a multiple of four, so a Pow Woof and so on. So a nice little starter activity there for perhaps some of your uh, more able students, a classic that one there. Um, let's return back to the website because there's more going on here. If I just click back, this is the page I really wanted to show you. Um, the UKMT have very, very kindly put all their past paper questions available for you to download and use for free. Now, what I should say at this point is that um, if you want, they have a brilliant thing where you can download the test-based software and you can get access to all the previous archives of puzzles from the different competitions and you can sort them out. So if you want a worksheet all on fractions, then you can do that. If you want a worksheet on angles, blah, 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 you can do that. And I think it's 60 pounds, so that's certainly worth buying. Uh, but I'll just show you this. This is available for free. Say you uh, wanted to go back to the junior puzzle of say 2007, give that a click and it comes in this format here. Now this is a really, really handy format. You've got the question and the answer below it. Now what's nice about these is these are image files. So say I wanted this question because I was doing a starter on fractions or something like that or a bit of a group work. If I just right click there and I go to copy and then I just crack open just a normal PowerPoint and I click on the slide and right click and I click paste, then fingers crossed there's my puzzle that just appears there. And I can just build that into my lesson, project that at the start of the lesson, get the kids talking about that. So you've actually got a wealth of amazing puzzles there. And again, what's nice about it, it doesn't say junior anywhere on here. So I could use that with a GCSE class. I could even use it with an A-level class. And of course, some these puzzles stretch the entire age and ability range. So they're really, really, really worth dipping into and bringing into your lesson. So that's the UKMT. It's an absolutely fantastic website. As I say, the courses are fantastic. The books are fantastic. The software that you can buy is fantastic from them. And I'd strongly recommend you visit that one. Hope that was useful. And I will see you next week with another website. Oh, sorry, God, nearly forgot. Um, could I say that... Um, 
If you have used this website and you've got any thoughts or you found something useful on there, please, please, please share it on the comment section at the bottom of the uh, WebWiz page. That would be really handy and we'll try and get some useful discussions going. And I promise that's it for now. Take care and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.